as well just put them together like this. Come on and clap. Everybody clap your hands. I got a song on my album set. Said it ain't nobody's business. What I do with my check. My name is Castro Coleman. They call me Mr. Sip, the Mississippi blues child. I'm a traditional blues artist um, with a little touch of soul in my music. Um, I'm from Macomb, Mississippi, um, guitar player slash vocalist, and that's who I am. I'm spend my money, oh, so what the heck? Jeff, I feel like taking on Mississippi right here. My background is gospel. I did gospel for 22 years professionally on the road, traveled all over the world, and took two years off uh, to just kind of get myself together, take a break off the road, and decided to come back out on the road, but I didn't want to do what I've done the last 22 years. So the next closest thing to what I knew was the blues, and I found out that blues and gospel are first cousins. They're very close kin. So. I'm still at home at what I do. The roots, um, the, the foundation of it is all the same. Everybody on my mom's side play sing or write. 90% of the people on my dad's side play sing or write. And now, fortunately, I'm the only one out of the whole family that decided to make a profession out of it. And I'm grateful for that because I have so much support from my family, you know, seeing that I took what we was all blessed with um, and, and, and spreading it all across the world. So they really support me because I'm doing what they dream of doing. Um, and that's being able to be in a position to travel the world and, and present um, the talent that we have. I'm free from your spell. Free, free, free now. My glasses are my trademark. Yes, these glasses come from my oldest child, which is a freshman in college now. When she was third grade, um, she needed her eyes checked. And my wife bought a third grade of these frames, put her on the bus and sent her to school. So she calls me and when she get out of school, and I was actually in Nashville cutting a record, cutting a gospel album. She called me crying, Daddy, I don't want to go to school anymore. I was like, why? She said, they laughed at my glasses. I said, well, tell your mom to send me a picture. So her mom snapped this picture and sent this to my phone and I see a third grader with plaques and these frames. I said, oh my God, I know she didn't do that. So what I did, I said, I said, baby, when I come home, I'll buy the frames. And when I take the picture for my album cover, I make it my album cover, you know. And it was a great record. The record did great. I did national television appearance, um, so many radio um, appearances. That's, I landed my first um, hit song on the gospel side, which is Ooh, We Another Blessing, uh, with these glasses on, and it caught on. So what we did, what, what we started doing is started doing workshops in the school about bullying. Um, I started doing um, little um, music classes and stuff in school. So her glasses became the coolest freaking glasses in the school district. You made it cool. Uh, made it made it cool, and, and, and the thing that happened, they laughed at her glasses, but her dad was rocking these glasses, so now everybody wants these glasses. So what I would do in my workshop is I would hand out, hand out these frames. So it became a major part of my, my, my marketing, my branding, but it, it's not a gimmick. It actually have true meaning behind it, so. Mississippi has had a, a bad tag on it for a while. Um, well, 
southern southern region things that happened back in the day slavery um a lot of racist issues things of that nature but when you when you're a kind-hearted person and you know how to treat people and even if people don't know how to treat other people when they meet good people it's hard to mistreat good people uh, i find that, that me and my family was brought up to be good people so therefore i meet no strangers i haven't ran into any problems um and I also love Mississippi because all over the world, they've told me from a kid up up until well, not now, but here recently, that you can't make it, you can't you can't be successful coming out of Mississippi. So what I've done, what I've done as a young man, is I'm proving to all the kids and some of the grown folks that you can be whatever you want to be, as big as you want to be, go as many places you want to go, and still live in Mississippi. So therefore, I've started two businesses in Mississippi. I'm 39 years old. I started two businesses, su successful businesses in Mississippi. I'm, tr I'm traveling the world. I'm still living in Mississippi. I'm buying property in Mississippi. I'm building homes in Mississippi. Everything I'm going to do is, is going to be in Mississippi. You know, uh, you don't have to move um, to other cities, other states, other countries to follow your dream or to make your dream happen. But it's it's all it's left up to you. So, so. Why I love Mississippi is because it's where I was born. It's, it's where my feet hit the ground running, and I want to lay my head and make my nest there. Let me hear you say, yeah. Let me hear you say, yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep it rolling.